Masking tape, mummy gymnastics, a jelly bean monetary system for emerging nations. I don't know. I'm not feeling any of them. Denise and Ferber up to something. I better tell Mom. Candace, the photos. Eyes on the prize. Hey, where's Perry? Why can't they ever find Perry? It's pissing me off. Pissing me off. Hello everybody, hi, how are you? Yes, hello, hello, hi! This is Dan, back with The Rock Block. It's episode 5, and I'm just very happy that it's episode 5. It's episode 5, and boy do we have a show for you. I will tell you all the segments of the show right now, but what's the point? You're just going to listen to the segments and not watch the whole show. You know what I like? people to watch the whole show. I also like people who subscribe, rate, and comment my videos. <laughs> yeah, but let's just get started. At least we can all agree that Axl Rose is still a moron. First you make a world tour in every country but the US. And now you are viciously beating up a um, press guy. Photographer man. Whatever you want to call him. Yes, earlier today, footage of Guns N' Roses sound checking in uh, Tai Pai. Tai Pei. I'm just gonna call it Tai Pei. Tai. Nah, let's call, let's call it Tai Pai. In Tai Pei County Stadium in Tai Pai, Taiwan. That is like a big tongue tweezer. But Axl Rose was conspicuously missing from the mix. Now, Live Daily has revealed one possible reason for Rose's delay. Ax Rose has gotten into a fist fight with one of the photographers at, Long La at Los Angeles International Airport last night that ended up with a few bloodied participants. Airport police tell Rolling Stone magazine that um, they, have no rec they have no record of the incident, meaning there is nothing to tell you about. He just got into a fist fight. I don't even know why I'm even explaining this story. It, it's really nothing. He just beat up a cameraman. Give me the camera so I'll shove it down your throat! Man, when's the last time you got Beatles news? Well, now. Now will be one of the... Here's some Beatles news. The Fab Four are still pretty fab. At least with people who buy music according to the following RollingStone.com report. Over three decades after their breakup, the Beatles still released the top-selling album of the 2000s. The Fab Four's greatest hits co compilation, One, sold over 11,448,000 copies since its release in November 2000, according to Nielsen's SoundScan's decade and sales numbers. Eminem, why are we talking about him? was the 2000's top-selling artist with 32.2 million combined in sales, plus two albums in the, in the decade's top ten. The Marshall Mathers LP was, for, was fourth with uh, 10,195,000 sold, and, M and, and Eminem's show was fifth with 9,789,000 copies. But the Beatles, man, 2000, and, they're st and, and they... This is the 2000s! And yet they have the best-selling album of the decade. What is up with that? I wanna be a Beatle. Jeez, is it really that I... I wanna be a Beatle. All you have to have is a British accent and I guess, you know, music skills. Cheerio, Captain Crunch, I'm Cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Oh, that's American idiot, not br th th there's there's no British it no there's not. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that pretty much wraps up Rock Block episode five. Um, please go to rockblock.webs.com. You gotta subscribe on my YouTube channel. You got I I need comments and I need ratings. Subscribers, big thing, and I need people to help spread the word about Rock Block. So please. Do whatever you can to spread the word so I can get more viewers and subscribers for Rock Block. And don't forget to become a member on rockblock.webs.com where I can send you emails and other stuff about what's new in the rock news. And, um, yeah, check you later.